What's going on everyone? We're going to be changing the screen on this iPhone SE second generation. Let's get to it. I'm going to remove the bottom panelope screws. Going through the side, never going through the middle, you can damage the home button. Go to the other side. Opens to the right, just like the iPhone 7s, 8s. We're gonna go ahead and remove this plate, remove these screws, and these screws are all different sizes, so put them in order. They need to go back to where they came out of. Remove this screw, this screw, and this one. Go ahead and remove the plate. Remove this plate. This is just like the iPhone 8. It's identical. Nothing different about it. I'm gonna disconnect that battery. Disconnect the screen. And the earpiece speaker, remove the screen. First thing we're gonna do is remove the earpiece speaker bracket. So these screws are again different sizes, put them in order. Remove the bracket, remove the earpiece speaker. I'm gonna remove three screws from this side and three on this side. Those are all the same size. You don't have to worry about putting them in order. These are tri-point screws. I will have a link in the description for all the tools and parts we used. Next, we're going to remove the home button bracket, put these screws in order. Remove the bracket. Next, we're gonna remove this metal plate. This does have some adhesive on the bottom, so just gently peel it off. Move the camera bracket. We're gonna gently remove the proximity sensor and the front camera flex. Just gently go underneath That's it. Disconnect the home button. I'm gonna dip my spudger into a little bit of alcohol. Be very careful removing this. You don't want to tear it. You will lose home button functionality and fingerprint. That's that. Now we're gonna grab our new screen. Install the home button. Now this is a refurbished screen, which means it's an original Apple LCD. Glass was refurbished. Get these from iGems, 
ijams.com. That's I-J-E-M-S dot com. He offers a lifetime warranty on them. So we're just going to go ahead and connect the screen, power it on. I want to make sure home button and everything touch works. Before we continue with the installation, I'm going to move it away from the camera just in case there's any pictures of people. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and try the home button. Works. Touch works. Perfect, we're good. Let's go ahead and power it off. Just connect the battery again, the screen. Let's put it here. We already have the home button on. We just tested it. I'm gonna go ahead and put our back plate on. Line it up, put the three screws on this side. Then we're going to put the three screws on the opposite side. put our home button plate on, grab our screws, next we're going to get our earpiece speaker I'm gonna line it up put the proximity sensor in its place grab our earpiece speaker fold the camera over it grab your metal plate put it over the speaker put your screws on remember these screws are different sizes so you do have to have them in order Oh, that one's already on the screen. So we're going to connect our front facing camera first. Home button connector, LCD touch connector, battery, grab your plate, put it on. Put the screws on. These screws are not magnetic, so sometimes they're a pain. Oh, now it wants to stick to my tweezers. Okay, that's that. Grab this plate. Grab our 
have your screws. Again, remember these screws are different sizes. They need to go back into where they came from. That was a short one I just put in. This one's longer. Longer. And short. Gonna go ahead and line up the top. Slowly push in. Things not lined up, it's not sitting flush. Let's go ahead and line this guy up. Try it again. Perfect. Grab our penelopes. it power it on give it a final test and we're done Okay, we're all set. Please like and subscribe for more repair videos.